Hey guys, welcome to day five of Exchange TV. I'm James. In yesterday's workshops, you guys improvised some creative scenes and made performance out of your text messages and your everyday lives. Let's have a look. We were doing a workshop about using your own life experiences to turn into theatre. We were playing some games, trying to get into a club by figuring out what the rule was, giving tours of our houses. The last exercise we were doing was we were paired up with someone we didn't know very well um, and we had to give them a tour of our childhood neighbourhood. It's been really useful to learn how to take stories from your own life uh, and share them with other people. It's definitely something new, like uh, we don't necessarily do those sort of exercises to create our work so it's really nice to see how other people do it. I was just in Sarah Rose's improvisation workshop and like how we can use our body, our stance, our posture to create a certain character. So we looked at things like posture, vocal quality, talked about a lot about gifts, so gifts that we can give ourselves, gifts that we can give um, our scene partners. A gift could be, uh, oh I love your long hair that goes down to the floor. So you, you have a gift by, you now know that your, your hair's to the floor. Um, with my friend Ben, we were doing a bit of improvisation. The stimulus was two lovers, and in our scene, um, he pretended to propose to me. Well, I thought he was going to propose, but um, it was actually a box of chicken nuggets. So we had to work through that. Please come to the office, I was just in a workshop with uh, Kate from uh, Mull Youth Theatre. It was all about trying to convey texts uh, in some sort of performance and how uh, you don't speak the same way over the phone as you do in real life. How you use emojis and how you basically use video. It's interesting that you, know, you don't usually use video in a performance like theatre, so it was interesting to see how we could interact that into uh, performance. I'm here with Tina from the New Victorians and Maria from Albany Park Theatre Project, both whom blew us away with their amazing performances last night. Would you mind sharing with us what it was like to perform at Exchange Fest? Yeah, uh, this is our first time sharing our stories internationally, so we were extremely excited. And I remember we went up to the dressing rooms and we played our tracks from the show and we were just like jamming to them and we couldn't get enough of it. And then after going down to the lobby and seeing everyone and them giving us feedback, it was amazing, and reading their come from and just knowing that they got something to take away from it was, it was great. Wonderful, and would you mind sharing with us when you got back on that bus, what was it like hearing the audience reaction to your piece? No, it was really great, they started cheering for us as soon as we got onto the bus, which is great. Um, no, we got very positive feedback, um, they said they really connected with the stories and the characters, which is great because a lot of our, the, lot of the characters um, back from the suffragette movement, so it was great that they could connect to their stories. Fantastic, thank you so much for both of you. Let's have a look at the highlights from last night's shows. For me, this is why I love theatre. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get all mushy and gushy now, but um, it was just so moving. It was just so moving, it was so beautiful. Um, I just love to hear the stories, um, people's journeys. What is the definition of home? Um, how do we describe home and how can we make home in a place that's foreign um, from ourselves? The choreography sequence when they're like all coming in and flying in and they had like um, video images of you know some of the other cast members I just thought like even though it, you know it seemed to be quite a big cast and obviously they couldn't bring everybody here but they just made sure that everybody who was part of a project would be included. So at the end they had journals because one, per one girl's story was about the hundred and so journals that she lost and then um, towards the end we all had journals we had to write down where we came from and this is not like literally where I come from London or something this is this is feelings and moments and sounds and music for where you're from I come from my mother's heart my father's hold my husband's love and my son's joy <laughs> It was a show mainly about the feminist movement, about feminism, just about strong women. Women in history and their battles and their victories and what we still have to do. A story about a man who was helping to save Jews through the Holocaust and unfortunately got betrayed and what him and his family went through. They used so many different soundscapes and structures of music that it was influencing so many different parts within that. that it's Mind-blowing. <laughs> there was lots of ensemble work in it, um, which I thought was really powerful. So the way they moved as a group, all the transitions and stuff. Um, one bit particularly was when um, when they were like sort of um, running through all the tables, and they managed to use the set 
really well and everything was really powerful. Physical theatre was beyond. It was non-stop energy. They just never seemed to want to stop. Thanks for watching and remember to check out the National Theatre of Scotland's Vimeo channel so that you can see the final episode of Exchange TV. Enjoy the shows.